Hello Horror Hounds. I wanted to try and bring you something a little bit different today. I'm sure, like me, a ton of you, because YouTube is like a wonderfully overlapping Venn diagram of contributors, subscribers, commenters, have checked out an amazing horror channel called The Horror Appraisal, run by a couple of awesome guys called Sam and Evan. Some of you will be going, yeah, Andrew, of course, the horror appraisal, duh, and some of you won't have checked them out. So point one in this video, I guess, is to sort of big up their channel and check them out. You guys who already know how great that channel is will also have been going, well, where? They've been away for a while. Why? And they've got a really good excuse. Sam has been making a movie, putting his money where his mouth is. A little while ago, he asked me if I could do a reaction video to their first trailer. The movie's called 12 Pole. And this isn't, as you will be able to tell, a trailer reaction video for one very good reason. I kind of think they're bogus. I think most of them, uh, 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 the person sat watching the trailer and reacting are set up, exaggerated for hits, for views, and we're nothing if not old school here. So what I've done instead, Sam, I hope you don't mind, is I've just checked out the trailer. I've let it sink in. I've re-watched it quite a number of times so that I can, rather than this be a reaction video, it's going to be a signpost video. I'm going to put linkity doodars down here. Maybe if I can work out the tech, I'll put a little, little clicky box somewhere that'll take you straight to the trailer at the end of this. And for my part, what I'll do is I will tell you, for what it's worth, what I think about what I've seen. Because God knows that's what I do best. I'll tell you the first thing I noticed when I watched the trailer. This isn't a found footage horror movie. Praise the Lovecraftian gods. The great old ones. I understand the temptation to go into that subgenre, the found footage subgenre, especially when a budget is going to necessarily be ultra tight. But not taking that easy option is a massive tick in 12 poles favour. I'll tell you the second thing I noticed. When you're working on a, 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 a tight budget, I assume that your locations are going to take on such significance. If you can find a great looking place or places to shoot, then it's going to look like money on the screen. And I really like the location they've got here. Soundtrack is, if you love your 70s and 80s horror movies, you are going to really dig the music in this trailer. Now, I don't want to oversell this. But it's clear to me from the score and from a few shots in the trailer that this film is not only made by people who love horror movies, but who are scholars of horror movies. The score alone will should tell you that. But you tell me if I'm crazy. There are a couple of shots there that are reminiscent of Toby Hooper in his guerrilla filmmaking days on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. More intriguingly, there are a couple of shots, interior shots, that remind me of a couple of John Carpenter movies, Halloween and Prince of Darkness. More intriguingly, and this is why I think you should follow the link, check out the trailer, subscribe and set the alerts on there, is that there's a second trailer coming that I've already seen, luckily enough, and there's a shot in that I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else before. And that gets me excited. So the movie's called 12 Pole. Please follow the links. Check it out. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe to them. Put the alert on because you're definitely going to want to watch the second trailer. I promise you that. And if you love horror movies like I do and these people obviously do, I think you're going to be intrigued by this, but let me know. And But I, I'm, I'm happily now pointing you, if not here, then down below, 
towards the first trailer for 12 pole. 